to show you some quick and easy projects to transform your backyard into a super fun place to play for your kids this summer. So here we go. We have a pretty small backyard, so this was a wasted space that could be turned into something really useful and I decided to make it a kid's corner. I did this just today in a few hours and on a really, really small budget. I'm going to show you some of my favorite parts now. I love having a toy box outside for kids' toys, just to keep them dry and have a spot to put them. This was in rough shape. Um, I bought it secondhand. We've had it for a few years, and with a quick coat of spray paint, um, it looks so much better. And it's a really great place for the kids to lounge, but the best part is it stores all their stuff. I move a lot of indoor toys out every year and it also holds you know cars and sporting equipment bubbles chalk all the stuff that kids have sprawled all over the backyard it's a great place to put it i also wanted to add something else a little special in this space and i saw a mud pie kitchen on kijiji and i really wanted to make it for my kids so i you had this old cabinet we were actually going to donate it or throw it out. We weren't using it anymore. It was a kitchen cabinet and we transformed it into this outdoor mud pie kitchen. Instead of mud though, because I'm a freak, we mixed sand, we colored sand, cornstarch and water to make a moon sand. So it doesn't go all over their hands, but they can still really pack it and play with it. I'll add the recipe below. Here's some other examples of some adorable mud pie kitchens. They're using real mud. I'll use moon sand or kinetic sand instead. This was a total hit and the kids played with it for about two hours straight. So if you have kids who complain about being bored, this is a must. The next easy project is this super cool swing you can make in your tree or hang it from your already existing like, tree fort. I got this idea of Pinterest from living well, spending less. And I mean, she spent under $5 to make this great swing. If you have a tree in your backyard, you can throw this together and your kids will have hours of fun. We already had this piece of wood here. I just drilled a hole in the middle and used the rope that we already had hanging from our tree fort, which was doing nothing, to make this super cool swing. The one thing that added hours and hours of fun to our backyard is our fairy garden. We started this last year and all the little things we got were purchased secondhand. You can find little houses um, at Goodwill, you can find them at you know your thrift shops, even those old Christmas houses you know you can give a quick coat of paint to, or you can do tutorials to make your own. So inexpensive, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, most of these things were purchased secondhand and my kids love, love, love their fairy garden. So whether you do one pot or a whole little garden, like we have a secret garden hiding behind our shed here, I recommend that you give this a try. Another outdoor must for little kids is a water table. I purchased this on an online Facebook site for $10 last year. I had to give it a good clean with a pressure washer, but what an awesome investment. The kids play with it like crazy, but you can make your own if you can't find a used one using just, you know, totes filled with water. You can add food coloring. You can add, you know, measuring cups and things to pour. I swear, it, they spend hours and hours and hours playing with a bucket of water. Next week project is a fort using a hula hoop, a sheet or a curtain rod, some rings and some string. I love these hula hoop forts. Hang them from a tree. It's a great place for kids to have a snack, have a little nap, read a book in the summer or just to play imagination in. Really inexpensive and really fun little idea for your backyard. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. We have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And check out the link beside here for the how to make a fairy garden from last year and more kids activities videos. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.